Okay, now, after the worst stalling I have ever had in this entire game, it's time to see if I can still stand up to this guy. Ten levels below, and with absolutely nothing on my side, let's see if there is anything I can do. Oh, of course his first attack is a crit. Oh, and I just realized, since I'm low on PP, oh, well, not that that mattered much. Well, let's just see if I even tried to increase my PP, if it ended up mattering at all. So, less than half, more than half, and yep. Oh, wait, but with this, I should have enough to maybe survive one more and still get another sludge bomb off. Every little bit counts, because otherwise, well, I'm still gonna get completely screwed, but let's see, and woohoo! Come on, Lip Lop. All right, well, that's like maybe 25 per, no, not even 25%, maybe like 20% flat, but that's still 20% more than I would have gotten on uh, every other time. But anyway, in this time, I actually have Coconut Trio. Shadow Ball will probably screw me up big time. So... Hmm... Let's go for the Psychic. Oh, we went for a Sludge Bomb! Will that actually do enough? Yo, I might have a chance here. Come on, how much damage am I gonna do? <gasps> Yo! <laughs> I did it! Holy crap in a macaroni. Coconut Trio? Taking it back, oh my, you're something special, Charles. Holy crap. You win! I see what that old duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say, run along, child. Alright, I'll have Dodzy scout uh, for the beginning and then just, like, hit everything that's in front of it with as much force as it can from a double edge. I'm assuming he's going to be starting off Gyarados, which is the one Pokemon that doesn't take extra damage from Ice Beam. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance the Dragon Trainer. I thought it was Dragon Master. You know that dragons are mythical creatures. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superiority. Uh, they're virtually indestructible. There's no cover being with them. Are you ready to lose your League Challenge? Ends with me, butts. All right. So, come on, Lance. And what is he opening with? Gyarados. Oh, I should have used a special attacker, not Dodzy, because he, he's going to have his attack drop with friggin' Intimidate. Dang it. All right. Okay, um... Uh, let's go for the double edge, just for max damage. Either way, I'm assuming a Thunder is... Go Jesus, that wasn't enough. Thunder Wave? Not just Thunderbolt? That's a bit bizarre. And <laughs> what? That was a weird choice in attack. Now, wow, that was a damage range right there. Hyper Beam. Ah, this has this gen has the lamest version of Hyper Beam. Ah, it's unfortunate I don't have any X items. That would have been great if I could get an X uh, special off over here. Would have been absolutely fantastic. Let's go for... Ice Beam. Should be neutral damage. Okay. Oh my goodness. He's gonna heal this next turn. Yep. Lance is one scummy trainer. All right, um, is he gonna go for Thunderbolt? He has Thunder Wave, Hyper Beam, Dragon, D oh, Jesus. Okay, so most of his attacks are gonna be physical, I'm assuming. Um, I guess let's go over the Ice Beam once again. Earth, that's such a weird move pool. Oh, frickin' hell. So great, my challenge to the rest of his team has already been destroyed. Lovely. 
Okay, so Thunder Wave, Earthquake, Dragon Dance, and Hyper Beam. Um, let's go over Leech Seed. Oh, Jesus. This is gonna get absolutely disgusting. Uh, I should have gone with my initial strategy of Leech Seed and Gyarados immediately and then using Protect Stall tactics to wait, uh, to try to stall him out with, uh, Ulmastar. Let's go for Toxic. Will this really kill? I mean, it should do a lot of damage, but I don't know if it'll kill. Wow, not even close. I was expect- Jesus Christ. I was expecting, like, m above 50, but I'm surprised it didn't do that. The problem is I don't have much in the ways of increasing my own stats because I didn't buy any X items. Uh, that was a crit. I might be dead. Okay, no, I'm not. Okay, so he'll be done in the next turn more likely than not. I think he may go for a Desperation Hyper Beam knowing that the next turn may be his last. So, I have to... Frickin' hell, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Go for the Giga Drain. Of course! Yep! That should do a lot of damage, and of course I'm out. So yeah, Gyarados just wiped out half my team. Lovely. More than nine levels above this guy. Toxic damage. Oh, I'm not gonna outspeed him because of... Wait, no, he he can't move this turn because he just used Hyper Beam. Yep. All right. Now, Aerodactyl. He is definitely going to outspeed me and he's prob... He's probably going to outspeed me. Yep. And... Oh, I thought he was going to go for Air Cutter. Uh, Aerial Ace? Is that good? Damn it. Holy crap. Let's go for LeBlob. See if I can... Actually, I remember looking through uh, some of the move pools and I thinking that Lance's team was, um, like, more physical than I would have expected. But then again, I'm pretty shitty on memory. Oh, fuck. Just below. Damn it. Well, I'm done. Yep. Keep crawling along, but you just get keep getting wrecked by more and more. <laughs> what? How did ancient power? Is this before? It was oh yeah, because physical attacks were just in general like contact, even if they obviously weren't. All right, so I've basically been cheating now because I have been using X items for Bruno and Agatha, uh, and yeah, Bruno was made completely trivial with just a few, or uh, after I boosted my Prime Ape a couple of times. So let's see how trivial this Gengar becomes. Jesus. And a, a speed X, uh, X, a, X speed on my Coconut Trio, and Gengar still outsped it. But I actually, I think it's two X speeds too. So, yeah, wow, holy macaroni. So yeah, let's see how different Lance is going to be now that I actually have the means of, well. <laughs> Uh, leveling out the- wow. Gengar- how, is Gengar really that fast? Because Gengar is actually faster than Crobat. Holy crap, I thought Crobat was faster. Crazy. Time for the rematch. And let's see if a slightly different strategy can afford me some small benefit. Uh, let's go for Leech Seed. What, earthquake? That's a weird starting attack. I'm legitimately surprised he didn't go for Dragon Dance. So now, the entire point of this was to set up the Leech Seed so that I can go and swap into uh, Omastar. Omastar can build up stats using the X items. His natural defense is actually really good. So I can stall him out by just putting in X defense and protecting on the turns that he's going to attack. But it's gonna be, I'm gonna have to almost beat him just through all alone because I cannot like 
boost. I cannot make his speed better than Gyarados's. Okay, I can just get rid of that with Full Restore, like I had in my Bruno fight. Um, no, uh, it was during Agatha, the first stage, I used uh, X items to increase special att uh, to increase um, a bunch of stats, and then I used Full Restore. Jesus Christ! Even with all the X defense, that still w was barely enough to heal me up. Alright, um... Keep going with X defense. This should... I should keep barely... I'm gonna keep barely living this. Holy crap, hold on. Gyarados' stats are just terrifying. Um, on the next turn, I think, is gonna be when Lance is going to use a full restore. So... This turn I should live badly off of, like, a third damage, and then I'll be healed up to maybe 80%. Oh, Jesus, that's like... Frickin' hell. Yeah, that's like 40% right there. No, a lot less than that. It's like, uh, well, like 53%. Okay, he should heal on this turn. So I can double up on 2x defense. Jesus, he didn't heal. That's weird. So I would genuinely be surprised if he didn't heal this turn. Yep, okay. One more, because the rest of his attacks are Hyper Beam and whatever the heck. Ah, oh, why did I already use a Full Restore? I wasn't going to attack for a while. Damn it. I should have Max Potioned. Dang it. Whatever. I think at this point I actually have maximized the defend I can have. So, time for other stats. Gotta speed him up. Oh boy. This is going to get terrifying real soon. But I don't have to worry about crits because of my shell armor. It's actually quite nice. Now, an extra speed. Oh, dang it. He, uh, uh, Aerodactyl's on his team, so I definitely have to actually have uh, at least three. Maybe four. Man, Star's health must be really low, and Gyarados's must be really high for me to be gaining that much. Um, hmm. Will he heal the same Pokemon twice? I don't think he will. Generally, the gym leaders don't seem to do that. Or, sorry, not the gym leaders, the Elite Four members. So, hmm. Ah, uh, one more speed. Okay. Track. Ah, man, this is gonna get scarier and scarier and scarier. But then again, if he uses Hyper Beam, I'll know that he's obviously out of options. Okay, and that should be enough speed, hopefully. Let's go for the special. How does he have so many earthquakes? Or have I just not been keeping track? Alright. So, either he heals or he dies. I'm actually hoping for healing, weirdly enough. He dies. Holy crap. Unless he goes for Hyper Beam as some, like, last minute fuck you attack. Oh, whoa! I live. That's weird. So, full restore. Last second Hyper Beam. I must be mistaken, because there's no way that it, he's not used up really quick already. Okay. It's go time. Ooh, Coconut Trio leveled up. Nice. Now, all those XPs, am I still gonna get outsped? Nope. They should take them out. Will I sweet Dragonite, or Dragon, uh, Lance, the Dragon Master, by cheating? Haha. Alright, I believe this was before that weird scale ability. So, this should be one hit KO. Okay. Yeah! Cthulhu leveled up! Awesome. Two more. Dragon yeah, okay, I believe the two Dragonairs that he previously had are now Dragonites. So lovely. Ten levels above me? Doesn't matter when you're cheating. <laughs> K 
Kingdra, the newest member of his team. And this is probably the one that might actually surprise me and just straight knock me out with, I don't know, Draco Media or something. Of course it lived. This actually is... I don't think this is likely to kill, because it's not that much higher level, but of course it does. Lovely. Whatever. I got pretty damn far. That was freaking great for... <laughs> for just being... For doing nothing but X attacks, or to boost myself up. That was pretty damn cool. Holy crap in a handbasket. I have succeeded in beating Lance by cheating. <laughs> I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, but you are now the Pokemon League champion, or you would have been if you have one more challenge left. There is one more trainer to face. His name is Balls. <laughs> oh, you be he beat you, the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon trainer. I only know one thing about this guy's team, which is he leads with Heracross, and Heracross is very likely to just start uh, countering for no reason, apparently. You know what? I think Heracross will actually be more defensive against Dodgy because of the type disadvantage. So, let's see if I can do the- if I can give Dodgy his last moment. Hey, Butts. You came back, Butts. Haha! -ha. That is so great. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type, and now I'm the Pokemon League Champion. Butts, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. All right, time to ensue the cheating. Okay. All right, I had an interruption. What, what else is new? So now, let's see if he'll counter. Of course he didn't. Lovely. That's probably, oh, that's not it. Okay, let's just keep going for defense. All right. So, I've got to figure out some pretty... Uh, i got to figure out how to make my Doge, uh, my Dodgy as efficiently powerful as possible with just cheating items. I know, I'm almost, well, I don't know, because I can't really remember the teams that he, have, he has available, but I'm almost certain he has Arcanine, which I know has Intimidate. So I'm going to kind of overdo it when it comes to having attack, uh, X attacks. Okay, so... I also have to have actually pretty decent speed, because if the Arcanine uses extreme speed, and uh, I have to be able to... Fuck! That was a mistake, because I don't have any special attack on Dodzy. All right. But now I have to make up for the speed. He, he dropped it with the Rock Tomb. All right. Whatever. I think I'm actually at normal speed now. So... This should take him out, because it's quadruple weakness, so Heracross should be completely finished. But I have no idea if any of the other members of his team are going to be able to just completely sh Oh, that's what I forgot about. Oh, God. Where the heck do you even get a Tyranitar in this game? Oh, yeah, actually, it's one of the caves on, like, the one island, I think. Um, uh, can I re Okay, I'm gonna have to try to use Return. So this is resisted, and I'm underleveled, and he has high defense. So... And that was a crit, and it still didn't work. Dang it. Lovely. Well, there goes all the setup to nothing. Goodbye, Dodzy. So this is a more honest matchup. Oh, and the Sandstorm doesn't go away. <laughs> Lovely. <gasps> oh my goodness. This means with... Cthulhu, I could actually completely wreck everybody else just by stalling out the sandstorm. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, time for Earthquake. Of course he heals. Lovely. Alright. Oh 
Oh my goodness, I just realized I should have gone. <laughs> should have gone. Oh no, I can't. Cross chops out of PP. Dang it. Um. Put in one defense just to be able to tank whatever this is. That is a weird attack for Tyranitar to use. Oh, damn it, it's not enough. Okay, so I have to heal and then... Ah, I don't want to heal now that I'm not doing the uh, PPs or the X attack stuff anymore. Ah, I should have gone for X attack. Oh, but then again, I don't think I would have survived the last hit. Okay. Um, Jesus. Tyranitar. I forgot about how just brutal the Tyranitar is. And I forgot that he even had him. I think he's actually going to heal this turn. So I'm actually going to try to set up using uh, Substitute. I should have Acid Armored. Because this might take me down to more, less than a quarter. It did. Damn it. Oh, it beat me. Holy crap. Let's see if No Will can at least hit its uh, Spore effect. Uh, he is just mocking me now. Attacks that aren't even that good on Tyranitar. Oh, he's, I think he's just trying to avoid the Spore effect. He's going to crunch the crap out of me, so this is not going to end up well. Let's go for Leech Seed. Yep. Oh my goodness, holy crap. They should take him out either now or when Coconut or when Cthulhu is available. But then again, they should take me out. I have less than 25 health. Oh, it's 8. Hmm. Neat. Okay. Ah, dang it. I can't quick stall into. Oh, I can't quick go into Cthulhu because he'll just get wrecked by Earthquake. All right, his Tyranitar shouldn't die. Neither one of us will take damage. Oh, whoa. I thought that would have been delayed. Holy crap. Okay, yep, Gyarados. I'm gonna use a uh, special just to increase my damage a bit. Ah. I should take it, okay. I didn't. Lovely. Okay, just to increase my odds on hitting a one-hit KO Ice Beam, I'm gonna try to... have the Sandstorm just slowly whittle him down. Ah, dang it, he's faster. So I'm gone. Crap. Well, I made it that far. With cheating. Okay. Lovely. Okay, and now after way too much time, we're back at our rival. Okay. Now let's go back to the cheating strats. Let's start stocking up on the defense, and of course it starts with rock too. Lovely. Because the first thing I need is a stat drop. Come on, counter. Yeah! Okay. So, I'm gonna also put one more def X defend, just in case. So now... Now I'm gonna have to boost everything in attack. I'm gonna have to use six X attacks, because now that I know he has Tyranitar, I have to just do everything I can so that I actually can hit it, uh, or take it down in one hit. Alright. <laughs> and now that my turn eventually just goes to the menu, hilariously, very short animations play, especially since my opponent is constantly failing at his attacks. But then again, I don't actually know how much uh, power points Counter has, so he may run out and just be forced to use Rock Tomb and destroy me. Okay, now I have to be able to outspeed a few of his. Um, let's see. Two should be enough. Dodzy being on the... Oh, dear! I should have put them into x defend. Please don't crit. Okay. 
Oh yeah, and I had to put it summon to speed anyway because he was doing the that whole shtick. Heal up. Dang it, this is gonna be bad. So every time he's doing this, I'm losing turns to stat drops, and I'm losing turns to having to heal. Oh good, he's back into the counter. Okay. So I have no idea how many speeds I'll have to use to bring myself even to even. Haha. <laughs> back up to even. Ah, and he really wants me to push that how far that goes. Alright. Well, now that I have full attack, I'll try to take down the Heracross and then immediately try to one-hit KO the Tyranitar. Of course he critted! Lovely! Well, there goes all those X, X items down the drain. So, let's see what Heracross goes for this time. If he uses a fighting type, I have to swap Earthquake. Okay. Well, now that I have Cthulhu out, I can X defend and... Ah, yeah! Yeah! So, back to this game. Ah, Mega... Wait, Mega Horn... Earthquake... And... Uh, counter... And Rock Tomb. Okay, so no fighting type attacks. And his best attack is Earthquake, which can't crit against Cthulhu because of shell armor. Alright. So... This may be the ideal setup. Okay. But still, Heracross is nine levels above me and a pretty dang potent physical attacker. Okay. So now he's at max physical defense. He should be able to tank these earthquakes okay. Wait. I'll start uh, alternating between protects and X attacks because now I can whittle him down so that he may only be able to use uh, inefficient attacks. Damn it! Why did I use that one? Crap. I meant to use special attack. Crap. Crud. Oh wait! I have to wait until uh, until the sand is on the on the field from uh, what's his name. Tyranitar before I should be <clears throat> using the protect strats because then my opponents will be start to whittling start whittling down. Okay, cheating is the best strategy, folks, and this video proves it. Okay. Um... He should be running somewhat low on Earthquakes now. So, I believe I used two boosts on Special Attack. Three is probably as much as I'll need to take out the Tyranitar. And, no, the Gyarados will probably need four. Dang it. Um... Okay. And so with all those boosts, go into the speed now. Um, his fastest one should be Arcanine. And Tout Speed... Well, I think it might just use Extreme Speed, but... Oh! Great. I gotta boost my speed. Actually, you know what? I can boost my speed in Tyranitar, because Tyranitar's best move is Earthquake, but my defense is as high as possible and he can't crit. So... Yep. Oh, and I leveled up. Nice. And Tyranitar. Okay, so I take no damage from the sand. I'm going to have to heal now to figure out how much 
Tyranitar actually does in terms of damage. Thunderbolt? That's kind of bizarre. Oh, dang it. Crap. So I can't set up. I have to beat him on this turn, or else he'll beat me because he has special attack attacks. Well, this should still be enough. I did boost my special attack by a decent amount. Yeah! Ah, uh, crap, but this means that I haven't been able to boost my speed by much. So, if he uses special attackers... Crap. Uh, hmm. Okay. I don't know whether or not Gyarados is a physical or a special attacker here, so let's see what he uses. Hydro... Damn it! Special attacker! I'll heal this turn. And, ah, yes! The lovely miss. Wait a minute, he's using Hydro Pump, which has only 5 PP, so this should bring it down to 1 if he misses or uses it. Oh my god, he spotted my strategy. Crap. Ah, uh, damn. Oh! Hopefully, I'm hoping, 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 hoping that this takes him out in one hit. I specifically used many special attacks uh, for Gyarados, so... Yeah. Nice. Alright. So what are his other pokes? Venus... Yeah, how did I forget that? Um, I'm hoping I'm still faster. Yes, okay. But I'm not sure if this will take it out. Oh my god. Yeah! Critical! Awesome. Lovely. Now, um, what's left? I believe a Arcanine is there. Hydro Pump. Well, that would have been a very good move if I didn't have HMs to. HM slots, but unfortunately I do, so I have to retain Surf. Oh god, I forgot about that one. Holy butts. Oh, wait. I don't think I can outspeed Alakazam, no matter what. So, let's protect, see what attack he's gonna use. Rift. Oh! Dang it. Let's go for it. Whoa! I genuinely was not expecting to outspeed Alakazam. He's supposed to be one of the fastest ones in the game. Holy crap, Ola. So, the only thing that left, I believe, is Arcanine? Yes. Extreme speed is the only thing threatening. I've won. Okay. He can't critical. And most of Arcanine's attacks are not effective on... Cthulhu, so... Yes! We've done it. Round two. Fire red. Completed. No, that can't be. You beat me at my best. After all my hard work that I've become the Pokemon League champion, my reign is already over. It's not fair. I already won 7,500 Pokeyen. Why did I lose? Never made any mistakes. New League champion, although I don't like to admit it. And Oak is right on our tail. So you've won. Sincerely, congratulations. Yes. So yes. We've done it. Finished this after far, far too long. Creating this as a weekly series, it's all the way back uh, when I thought I could get... When I thought I could make this in, like, 25 parts. So yes, finally, we have completed it. Round 2 Pokémon. I've actually never done this, I think. So, yeah. It's really cool. It's like, we finished with cheating! We are the Hall of Famers! So, I actually do have something planned to replace Pokemon as this weekly Sunday series. Um, might be a bit out of nowhere, but, uh, yeah, I think it fits. So, um, I guess that's where our team gets inducted. Dodzy, Cthulhu, Funky Monkey, uh, Leblob, No Will, and Coconutrio. They are the new Hall of Fame members. And of course myself, Butts, with 34 hours into the game. Congratulations. Is this ending sequence any different, actually? Hmm.
For some reason, I was expecting our character, player character, to twirl. But anyway, guys, it's been cool. See you guys next time.